This could very well be the most fun fly I've ever tied in my life. <laughs> Seriously. We're gonna start out with a 15 millimeter fish spine in this vise. We're gonna put six or seven strands of silly legs off the back of this shank. Now we're gonna cut two yellow and two green pieces of craft foam. We want this good taper to it because we're gonna end up using this all the way up several different shanks. To tie it in, I'm gonna cut a little arrow into it to make it easier. And now we're gonna do yellow on the bottom. The next step, we're gonna fold the green piece back. Then tie it down. Invert the vise. Tie in the yellow piece. finish. Now we're going to put a little bit of super glue on the inside in between the legs. That just kind of seals it off. Okay now we're going to turn around and do this all over again. Same exact steps. 15 millimeter Articulated fish spine in the vise. Same exact process. Again, six or seven silly legs. Now we have a 20 millimeter articulated fish spine in the vise with the 15 millimeter on the back of it. So for this shank, we're only going to do the foam. So I'm going to cut a V in it. So for the top one, we want to cut this directly over the shank. It just kind of covers it. Glue the inside again. Now we're going to turn around and do this all over again. I think you see the direction we're going.
So right now, you should have a leg that looks like this, and a leg that looks like this. Now we're gonna add 25 millimeter articulated fish spines into each of those. And you guessed it, the same process. So now your legs are all done. You've got you got legs that look like this on the top, this on the bottom. <laughs> so cool. So now we have a two-aught Kona big popper hook in the vise. We'll throw back on the name. Love it. Now we're going to attach the legs with 25 pound fluorocarbon. Stay behind this bend right here. So we're going to lay our fluoro right there. Okay. Wrap right back to the bend of the hook. Attach the first leg. Now we want, we want to keep them on either side of the hook. So how we're going to do that is by laying the fluorocarbon across the hook. Okay? So we're actually going to tie it in on this, on my side of the hook, for this leg. So we're going to pull this on here and lay it over this side. Now a little tip before we get started on actually tying on this hook. We're going to use a double barrel popper in size large on this hook. So, so what I want to do is go ahead and put that popper head on this hook exactly where I want it to land. Okay? I'm going to take a Copic marker, any marker, it can be a Sharpie, whatever. I'm going to mark exactly where that head stops and take it off. Okay? So what that's going to do is that's going to give me a go no go zone. I don't want any materials going onto the orange at this point. Okay, so the next step, we have a green piece of foam and a yellow piece of foam obviously wider than the rest of the legs and stuff like that. This is the body, uh, the rear portion of the body to be exact. So, so we're going to go wider, but we're going to go ahead and cut them like we did the legs at the top to make them easier to tie in. So we're going to go ahead and tie in our green on top. So at this point, I can fold this material back to see if I'm to that orange point, and I'm not. So I've got another wrap to go. We're gonna take our super glue. We're not gonna we're not gonna whip finish this. We're gonna just go ahead and lay some super glue on our thread and wrap it onto the hook. 
pull it tight. Cut off her thread. Perfect. So we can fold our layers back now. So at this point we're going to put a large double barrel popper head in green chartreuse on this. Now since we've already checked to make sure that everything is good to go here and we, when we didn't go on to the orange, we know that when we slide this on, if we stop right here, we're going to be perfect. Everything's going to be great. So we're going to go ahead and put some gel super glue on the hook. So once it starts to slide on, slide it until it stops right here. So the next step is fun and requires fire. <laughs> we're gonna take a we're gonna take a bodkin and we're gonna put it through this portion of the head right here, just on the top of the hook, right behind the eye. So now we have a hole all the way across through this head. We're gonna take a bobbin threader or a leg puller or whatever you've got. Put it through this hole. So now we're gonna put six or seven strands of the same silly legs that we used for the legs into our threader. So now that we have the legs inserted into the head, we're going to tie knots into them to kind of give them a jointed effect. Next we're going to add 6mm Tropic Dragon Eyes. Now to top this all off, we're going to take a pale olive Copic marker and make some fairly large spots on this. And on top of those spots, we're going to put a smaller spot of the burnt umber. 